When it comes to male movie sex symbols, you don't get much bigger than Rock Hudson. Back in the 50s and 60s, women across America swooned over Hudson, whose own sexuality was a closely guarded secret. Now a new documentary delves into that secret life. There was no one bigger in Hollywood than Rock Hudson. During the 1950s and 60s, he ruled the big screen in films like Giant, Magnificent Obsession, and most famously of all, his pairing with Doris Day in romantic comedies like Pillow Talk. Am I gonna see you tonight? But Rock Hudson was also living a secret double life as a gay man. He went to great lengths to hide his sexuality, even marrying his agent's secretary to provide him with cover. He was a creation of the studio system, and he was a valuable product that needed to be maintained and protected. Stephen Kayak is the director of the new HBO documentary, Rock Hudson, All That Heaven Allowed, now streaming on Max. He found a way to really uh, be comfortable with the, the two lives. Rock Hudson's last major role was on the 1980s hit show, Dynasty. And he hid the fact that he was afflicted with AIDS. Behind the scenes, he was really concerned about sharing an on-screen kiss with actress Linda Evans. She spoke to CBS Sunday Morning. They wanted it to be passionate, and it didn't end up being that. He knew, he knew how to kiss passionately, and that's why I was surprised. In 1985, he could no longer hide his disease and shocked the world when he announced he was dying of AIDS. Standing by his side in his final public appearance, his good friend and co-star Doris Day. Today, Rock Hudson is remembered as an iconic leading man who also had a secret life.